Welcome students, how are you all? I hope you all are fine and safe at your home. In the last class, what we have learned? We have learned unit number 9, heat and we have read book page number 52 and 53. And I hope you have done the reading too by yourself. So today we will read the next page of this unit page number 54 so kindly student turn on your take out your books and open the book page number 54 so today we will going to read about uses of heat heat is a form of energy and it is a kind of an energy it can do work it can make things work now how the heat can make things to work now there is an example the burning coil in a steam engine helps the engine to move so what happened when we put the coal into the engine the steam engine moves and it helps because when the heat produce how the heat is created and then the steam engine move and the coal is help to make the heat and that helps to move the engine so there are some other examples of uses of heat how we use the heat and a hot iron help us to iron clothes fire help us to cook food as you know when we wash our clothes what happens? there are all so many wrinkles on the clothes so how we can wear the clothes when we iron our clothes and when we you switch on the iron it will become hotter and it produce the heat and with the help of the heat we iron our clothes on the other side when we want to cook our food we turn on our stove and when we turn on our stove it the pot will be, get hotter the it will become warmer the object will become the warmer and the and then we put the things in it and with the help of the heat we can cook our food so these two are the uses of heat that we do on daily basis there are some other example how we use the heat when we feel cold what happened we need heat from the heater to keep ourselves warm during winter we sit in front of the heater we sit in front of the fireplace to make our body warm because if you feel the heat move and then you feel the heat moving into your body so we need heat from the stove or firework to cook our food so we cook our food on a stove but if you went to the camping areas if you want to do the barbecue so we put the fire on and we can cook our food over there too we need hot water from geysers to have a bath in the morning now how the geyser water get warmer with the help of heat with the help of heat when the heat produce it makes the water hot and then we can take the bath this is also the use of heat we need the sun heat to dry our clothes after washing when we wash our clothes how we dry our clothes they get dry in the heat of the sunlight we put our clothes outside and with the sunlight the sunlight also produce heat and with the sun heat the, the our clothes dried heat is produced when we rub our hands together so in the last lecture we also have learned about the friction with the friction when you rub your hands together what do you feel when you rub two things together this is called the friction and it can be whipping the clothes whipping your hands or rubbing the two 
wood together so heat is produced by friction when you rub your hand you can see you feel warmth in your hand and if you will uh, rub the two woods together it produces the fire if we will uh, we want to switch on we want to make a fire on a match uh, what we will do we will put the match on the match box and when the friction will happen what happen it will turn on and it will get fire so when you rub two things they are soft together when even when they are squishly soft friction occur so when two object are pushed together harder they are more friction created the same thing when you push hard on your bike brakes it slow everything down and you will see you will uh, come to a quick stop because the friction because of the friction so these rubbing two, two things together they also produce heat how human and animals keep them warm we when you when there is a cold we want to feel warm what we do we wear woolen clothes to keep us warm see the boy in the snowfall what he is wearing he is wearing the woolen jacket he is wearing the hat an animal have fur or have hair on fur on their bodies to keep them warm so during winter you wear woolen clothes and your clothes cover almost the entire body and woolen clothes keep the body warm because the wool is a bad conductor of heat and same the fur of the on the bodies of the animal they keep them warm in the cold their fur and their feathers they keep their body warm so student kindly read this unit read book page number 54 again and i hope you enjoyed this topic inshallah i will see you in the next class take care allah hafiz